Welcome back to the next SAP Sneak Peek of the Week video for the Australia SAP Rollout Project. Today, we are going to order that replacement part our gas tech Joe needs for one of our plants through SAP using the materials shopping cart. The materials shopping cart allows you to easily find materials in SAP and add them to a work order, avoid ordering materials that are already in inventory, and ensure that materials are available when a job is scheduled. From your Navigator landing page, you'll be able to run and see notifications assigned to you. A notification is a targeted instruction to the maintenance department to perform an activity in the manner described. Notifications can be created by anyone. Here, you can see all of the notifications I have currently assigned to me in my list of notifications. We'll click on the damaged fan blade notification for this example and see what parts we'll need to order to perform this corrective maintenance. By double clicking, I was brought to the general maintenance request page in the plant maintenance module for the work that needs to be done. I'll click on the pencil icon next to the order number. Here is the component overview page where all of the parts needed to fix our maintenance issue will be displayed after we add them. To add a part to your component overview page, you will need to access your material shopping cart, also known as the MSC. To do that, I'll select Link 1 MSC, and when I'm asked for an action, I'll choose MSC. Here, is where we can search for materials. You can add any criteria and there is no need to use a star or an asterisk. Our plant number will go in this field so SAP knows what is available in your area. In the materials description, we can type a short explanation or keywords like fan blade and click search. Our search has returned three components. You'll be able to see your plant number returned in the plant column, the unique material number in the material column, and the materials description and quantity of the material available to your location under the unrestricted column heading. You can also see the average cost of the part and the currency here. I'll just double click the blade option here and you can see that it's now in my shopping cart. I'll also just type in hub to show you that you can really type in anything into the description and the search will retrieve a material. I'll add this to my shopping cart as well. Now to order these parts. I'll click transfer and we are back to our component overview page with both the materials listed here and ready to be ordered. I'll say need one of each. In the recipient column, I'll just enter the recipient's window ID. Remember, these requests for parts came in a notification that may have been created by someone else. I'll ask that these parts be dropped off at the warehouse. I'll click save and just click through this error message. Now we are back at your notifications page. Here, I'll click on the broken fan blade notification to bring us to the component overview page. I'll click the pencil icon next to the order number and I'll select the component tab. Here we can see the two parts that we just requested to be ordered here. The parts are ordered and the repairs can be made shortly. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the materials, shopping cart, or any other SAP related questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. And be sure to submit this week's survey to be entered to win some great prizes. See you next week.